I'm Carrie. Welcome to Top of the Hill Fitness. Today we've got a low impact hit workout for you and a painting by Jen Mann. We don't have any jumping in the workout, but it's still a tough, good one. We're going to start with a warm up, jogging in place with arm sweeps. And just get going with the jogging. We'll do this for 30 seconds. Loosening up. Five more seconds and we'll switch to a leg swing. Use a wall here if you need to, and just swinging forward and backwards. Loosening up the hip. 10 seconds and we'll switch to the left leg. Swinging the left leg forward and back. Ten seconds to go, and we'll switch to a side to side leg swing. And with the right leg. Swinging out to, as high as you can to the side, crossing over the front, and repeat. Ten seconds to go, and we'll switch to the left leg. And switch to the left. Next up, we'll just switch back to the jog in place with the arm sweeps. We'll do some ankle circles next. Okay, on the right ankle, circles in one direction. We'll switch halfway through to change the direction. And change directions. Just working on that ankle mobility, loosening everything up through the ankle. And switching legs, doing that, those ankle circles on the left side. And switching directions. And working on balance. All right, we'll take a, just a bit of time to transition to the hip portion of the workout. Uh, for the hip format, the intervals are a bit longer, 40 seconds, with a 10 second transition between. It's an ABAB format with five pairs of exercises. The first pair will be a side lunge with a leg sweep and push ups. We're going to take a little break for water. Uh, between groups three and four. Okay, 
Okay, starting up with the legs sweep to, to one side and sweeping up. So we won't be alternating legs with this one. We'll do the, um, the other leg in the next round. It's good, just keeping up a nice pace, lunging off to the side, sweeping that leg up over the other one. 10 seconds to go. Push-ups are next. Quick transition to push-ups down on the mat. So doing whatever format you can here for as long as you can. 40 seconds is a long time to do full push-ups. Just keep the pace going. See what you can do being continuous here. Halfway done. Okay, and we're going to do the side lunge leg sweep on the left side. And start up. Lunging off to the left, sweeping that leg up over the right. Just 15 seconds to go, and we'll go back to the push-ups. All right, down to the mat for push-ups. Starting in full push-up form. Let's see how long I can keep this up. Twenty-five seconds to go. And the knees come down to finish off the fifteen seconds. Just want to keep this going. Alright, the next pair are power knees and dips. I'm going to start the power knees on the right side and go. Driving that right knee up. Quick turnover, quick pace. This is a real power move. Halfway done. Five seconds to go, a few more. Next up is dips from the mat. And start the dips. So hands facing forwards towards your, towards your butt and lowering down. You'll feel this in the triceps. I felt it a lot in the triceps. I found this quite difficult to do for 40 seconds, especially in the second round. Almost done, five to go. And back up for the power knee on the left side this time. I 
and go for power knees. Driving forward. Quick, quick. 25 seconds to go. Keep up a nice pace. Ten seconds to go. Let's get a few more in there. And back to the mat for the next round of dips. And start those dips. Elbows pointing out behind you. Lowering down and back up again. This is getting tough. But we're halfway there. Ten seconds to go. A few more. Try not to fall on the mat like I did. Next up, no running mountain climbers. Go at a nice pace, but don't, don't be feeling like you have to run this one. It'll be tough enough for 40 seconds. over halfway there. We're gonna do a curl up next. Legs in the air, bent, and go. We are halfway done the curl ups. Keep the pace up. You're doing great. And that's it. Up for the mountain climbers again. And go, mountain climbers, nice pace, but not running. See if you can keep it going for the full 40 seconds. Halfway there. 15 seconds to go, you got this. Nice, that's it for mountain climbers. We're gonna do the sit-ups next, curl-ups. Gotta get back down on the mat. And go. Just 15 seconds to go, and we're going to take a good break after this. And that's it for Girl Ups. Get a drink of water if you need it. Take a full minute break here. And we'll see you back for the last couple rounds of hit. 
Hi, this is Shane. I just wanted to say a couple of words about the painting on the wall by Jen Mann. One of the things I love about Jen's work is she walks this line between playfulness and seriousness really well. The CoverGirl series of paintings are these paintings of fictional magazine covers where Jen has cast herself as different archetypes. While these are fun and kind of irreverent paintings, they still ask serious questions about how we construct personal identity, how we project ourselves out into the world, and how we can know ourselves and each other when so much interaction is mediated and virtual. And welcome back. We've got two more groups. We're over halfway done this workout. Starting with sumo squats. Legs wide, toes pointed out. And keep up a nice pace. 30 more seconds of sumo squats. Lowering down as far as you can go. 10 more seconds. We're going to do an interim with a push up next. So from standing. And walking it out to push up formation and back up to standing and just keep that going nice full push up and walking back 15 seconds to go keep it going And up for the sumo squats next, second round. Nice wide stance. Lowering down as far as you can go. And back up, keeping the pace up. Just five to go. And we'll do that interim push up next. And start inching down to push up. Nice full push up. And back up again. You can do the push up from the knees if you need to here. Just keep the motion going. And I'm showing you down to the knees for the push up and then back up into the inchworm. Nice. Okay, we're on to the last pair of exercises a ski squat with leg lift. Legs are nice and close together for this ski squat. Squatting down as far as you can go, trying not to lean forward as much as I do. Keeping that back nice and straight and you're alternating which leg you lead, uh, lift to the side. Just 10 seconds to go. Come on down to the mat. We're going to do a plank pull next. So 
nice high plank position and pulling the arm up kind of like a into a rowing position and planting it back down on the mat. And just alternating the pull. Trying to maintain a nice plank position. Just eight seconds to go. And come on back up to, for the last round of ski squat leg lift. Keep the pace up here. These are our last few squats for the whole hit routine. Keep it going. You're over halfway done. And come on back down to the mat for our last 40 seconds of hard work. Plank pulls. And begin. Quick pull with each with each arm. Try not to rock too much side to side. Maintain that nice plank position. And keep it going for 20 more seconds. Ten seconds to go. Get a few more in. Nice. We've got a bit of a recovery time here and we're going to do a stretch after that. So just boxer shuffle. 30 seconds or so before we move into our stretch routine. And come on down to the mat. We'll start with thread the needle, one of my favorite stretches. Reaching up high to the side and threading that right arm through the space between your left arm and your left leg. Trying to get the shoulder down onto the ground, feeling a nice stretch through the shoulder and side body. And we'll switch that to the left side now. Reaching up high with the left arm, threading it through. Breathing into that left shoulder, feeling the tension go. take a seat on the mat legs wide and we're just going to stretch down get a hamstring stretch in a bit of an adductor stretch to just come on down the center you can feel this in your back too And we're going to do a seated glute stretch on the right side first. So just cross your right leg over the left leg, which is extended. And feeling this in the IT band and glute on the right side. And on the left side now, so 
crossing the left leg over the right and you're going to rotate your upper body to the left. Lie down. We'll do, take the right leg bent over the left side of the body. I'm feeling this through your lower back, maybe your glute a bit. Let's switch that to the left side and we'll twist over just the left leg over the right side of the body and we're looking left. This should feel pretty good on your back, maybe your glute. And come on up to a standing position. We'll stretch out the quads now. So first the right, just a nice quad stretch and a chance to work on balance too. You might feel this into your hip flexor on the right side as well. Let's switch to the left side. Nice quad stretch. Get your balance first or use a wall. That's it. That was a good workout. I'll be feeling it in the triceps tomorrow after all those dips. See you next time at Top of the Hill. Please subscribe if you liked the workout.